Hey viewers, today I'm going to show you how to size a bike chain. This is my Raleigh Team USA bike. Uh, the chain I had on there was the right size for the original crank set that was on there, but when I changed crank sets, the small ring was a little bit smaller, and so that chain was actually a little bit long. But So I'm taking the opportunity to show you how to size a chain from the start. Start off by shifting the derailleurs so they're both going to be on the small ring on the front and the small cog in the back and then thread the chain through uh, the front and through the derailleur back here. So I have the new chain here threaded over through the derailleur and over the small ring and hanging down and then in the back it goes over the small cog and around and through the derailleur and is hanging down here. I've made a small tool here out of a piece of a wire coat hanger. Um, it's just a bend here, a bend here, and here. There's just, um, it's about two inches from right here to right here. And so it's just a piece of wire hanger. I'm going to show you what we do with it. So what I can do with this small little uh, piece of uh, hanger is I'm, I can use it to uh, join the ends of the chain. So this uh, will fit in the gap between the outer plates. So I just slide that in like that and I can bring the other end of the chain over and slide that like that and it'll hold the chain together like that. And so like right there I could put the little uh, master link part that goes joins there. So let's see how this uh, fits like this. Now this chain is just too short because you can see how it is touching up against the uh, little uh, pulley under there. So what I can do is use this little uh, joiner here and go one more notch like this. And that still is too short so I'll go one more notch, go over there like this. and. It's a little bit better, it's not touching down there, so that might be about what I want, like that. If possible, I may go one more, but we'll, we'll see how it is when we go to the uh, larger rings. Now what I want to do is try the chain with it uh, adjusted like this, except I want to try it on the big cog and the big ring. So I'm going to shift the derailleurs up and move the chain up manually. Okay, here's the derailleur with the chain on the big ring and the big cog, the, the chain is still bending around the guide pulley and then coming down and bending under the uh, tension pulley. So this is acceptable here. What we, we don't want to see is have this like this to where the chain is going straight um, with no bend around the little pulleys there. That is just too short. Another possibility is if we uh, see the chain kind of rubbing up against the, uh, the big uh, cog there, that's also not acceptable. On the, when we had it on the small rings, if we had it there to where we got it to where it wasn't touching this and then this was uh, just fully outstretched like that, then that means we probably want to go to a derailleur with a, a longer cage. But this is perfectly acceptable here because it is uh, still S uh, curving down through the uh, pulleys there. So now I know how long the uh, chain needs to be. I can go ahead and break the chain. So I have like the, on this particular type of chain, I'm going to have inner plates here and inner plates on the other side and then I'm going to replace one set of the outer plates there. So I'm going to go ahead and break it right here and then I'll put like the little uh, outer plates uh, easy link part right in there. Okay, I broke the chain, I reconnected it, and so here it is uh, on the small ring and the small cog, and it's not rubbing down there, and so as I, I pedal around here, I can shift up, up to the big, uh, big cog, and then go up to the big ring here, and so then I still have the room there, and uh, Keep in mind, this is not, uh, these are both extreme uh, chain lines that you probably wouldn't do uh, in normal riding. You generally don't want to go from the big bit to the big or the small to the small because of the angle of the chain. But the chain is capable of doing this without overloading the derailleur. Anyway, that is how to uh, size a chain. Hope this helped. Hope you found this interesting. If you did, please click like. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. 
And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the big yellow button. And I'm also on Facebook uh, at RJ the Bike Guy. And uh, you can go over there and I post other stuff there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.